Good evening, everyone. Miss Lisa here. And I am going to be teaching an adult beginning ballet class. This is a level one class. I'll be going through details on all of the moves so that you can follow along and keep up. Before we start, we've got, this is a live stream. We're starting in five minutes. So if you're watching this um, pre-recorded, you can fast forward through, but we're gonna do some warm up stretches before we actually begin bar. So find a spot in the middle. And I'm gonna turn sideways, but you're just gonna take a nice uh, foot move through the toes. All right. Feel free to hold on to something if you want, but we're really working on balance here and some foot and toe flexibility, ankle flexibility. Just warming it up. Oh, I just cracked. And circle one foot. Circle, circle. Good, at, good evening. If you're just joining me, we're just doing a pre-bar warm-up. And circle the other foot. Away from your belly button. Away from the belly button. And let's circle the other foot inward. Oh my, my leg looks like it's not, there's no bones. And let's try the other side, inward. Oh yeah, get the cracks out, I'm still cracking. I have a student, Angela, she cracks like, like she's 100 years old and she's 17. All right, so we're gonna take parallel feet. You can have a little space between them and just roll slowly through the spine. Two, three, four, you're going to the four, five, six, seven, and a plie. Hands can be on the floor now. Body is in a high plie position. Drop your head and straighten. And move your head into a yes and no. It's like yes, not no, but yes. Nod it up and down. And plie again. And straighten one leg and feel where all that tension is. Where is it? Is it behind the calf? Is it up by the glutes? Sometimes it feels like it's the entire leg. That's probably the nerve. Pinched in the tight muscles, switch legs, bend one. Oh yeah, feel that. You need to tell the muscles it's okay. It's okay. I just want to stretch you, both legs straight. And head up and down again, gently and slowly, saying yes. And plie both legs and straighten both legs. Move side to side like you're polishing your floor. And feels good, doesn't it? And walk the hands out to downward facing dog. And move the feet again like you're called this pedaling. You're walking, but you're really not going anywhere. And heels down. Let's go to one heel so you can isolate that, wobble the ankle a little bit from side to side. Remember, our body is three-dimensional, and oftentimes we stretch and we hold it in a stagnant position in a one-dimensional or two-dimensional pose. Switch feet, but remember the joints move in multiple directions. It depends on the joint of the uh, body, but the ankle has flexion, it's, well, it's got dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, but it's also got inversion and eversion. So you've got all four directions. Walk your hands back in. Roll it up slowly. And, whoo. Yeah, my shoes. All right, so let's do some shoulders. Circle those arms in full range of motion. As we age, we lose that full range of motion. And sometimes you don't think about it in the arms. Think about it in the legs a lot, especially as dancers. We're like, oh yeah, I gotta stretch my legs. Switch directions, but then you go to do something, you can't even reach for the top shelf of the cabinet in your kitchen. <laughs> All right, take your hands behind you. Move your, what I want you to do, we, we know how to move our shoulders forward, but move your shoulders back behind you, push them back. And a little twist side to side. And take your hands up and go back over. Yeah, just upside down all day. 
Silly Sally went to town riding backwards upside down. That was a book. That's a book, a children's book, which I don't have. That's a good book to have. I think I used to have it. Maybe I still do somewhere. All right. Let's get started, everybody. Welcome to Beginning Ballet. This is a level one class. I'll talk you through most of it. Now, this is the last week of my free online classes. I'm going to virtual Zoom classes after this. If you'd like to continue, it would be a $12 tuition drop-in. If you don't, if you're not working right now, we have scholarships available. So let me know. And let's get started. We are going to face our bar. My bar is set up over here, and I guess I'll take my pants off, yeah. So first position, you're going to maintain the rib cage and the hip bones in the proper straight alignment. That's called neutral spine. First position with your toes, boom, boom. So you're gonna time your front. Now, guys, I know you're watching the TV screen. But if you have the opportunity for some type of ballet bar or window, I'll see myself in my uh, slider. So first position, you're going to take the right foot. Tandu, flex. I want you to rotate it a little bit more so you're giving it a more oomph in that up here, hip socket. Then close it into first. Other side, tandu and flex. Rotate it like really oomph. But don't lose your hip integrity. All right, so some people will do this. They're tondoing and then they turn, they like twist the hips a little bit and then their bottom sticks out. So really rotate up in the socket. Close it in first, repeat to the back. Tondu, flex, really rotate and close. Tondu right behind you and flex, rotate and close. All right, so we have front, front, back, back. I forgot the rest of it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so then we have circle the head to the right twice. Now, if you're using a chair, you're gonna step. So just your one hand is on the chair. You're gonna lift your leg up, side stretch towards the leg. Come up, step back in front of your chair. So I'm pretending my chair is right here. Then two head circles to the left, feeling the neck crack about seven times. Step one hand on your chair, place the leg up, and side stretch over. All right, now if your chair's not sturdy, I understand your dilemma, maybe at your couch or something that's a little sturdier. So we'll just do our best. All right, let's try this. Let's hope now, guys, if we get bumped off YouTube, um, I know one of my people on here, We'll just meet on Zoom if that becomes the situation. My second, I know Carmen's on here. If someone else is on here, and uh, you could always text me if you know me personally. <laughs> All right, here we go. Start with the arms low. Breathing arms. Five, six, seven, and eight. And Front, one, two, turn it out, three, and four. Other side, tendu, flex, turn it out, and close to the back. One, flex, two, rotate, and close. Tendu, flex, rotate, and close. Head goes forward, side, back. Repeat, don't forget your abdominals and your glutes. Step side, one hand on the bar, and side stretch over. And head, front. Side, back, take your time, breathing through it, engage the abdominals. One hand remains on the bar, step, and side stretch. Mm -hmm. 
and step back into position. Finish. All right, so as you saw the transitions between my leg up on the bar and me stepping, remember to always step with pointed toes and step back with pointed toes as you're doing all that transitional movement. All right, let's go into our first position facing the camera. We are going to be doing two ground plies. Oh, that's right, we're facing the bar for this. I apologize. I'll face you guys though. All right, so. You can face me, I'll face you, the bar. We're going to do first and second position. Grand plie is a big plie. Now, in first position, to maintain that neutral spine position, you have to lift your heels when you go all the way down. But you're not lifting them, you're just letting them come up. You're trying, you're kind of pushing them down, but they're coming up naturally. So, demi, grand, back to your demi, and straighten. So you've got your heels down, heels come up naturally, push the heels back down. Now one nice thing about facing your bar at this point, if you cheat and lean forward, your face kind of hits the bar. So yeah, your bar is your teacher. Then from here, so we do two grand plies. Oh yeah, four jumps. We're doing sautés today. But I would like to do four relevés and then four sautés. Releve means to rise, but uh, releve has a plie to take you up into the position. So we'll go, but not a grand plie, demi, releve. Demi, it's like you're jumping, but you're not. Three, up, and four, up. Then we've got four sautés, plie, sauté. So it's the same initiative, except you're going to push with the toes. You want to push with the toes, and when you land, you land toe ball heel. Four of those. We'll take a balance today, and again, think of neutral spine, and we'll do have we'll have our arms low, low fifth position. The Italian method calls this low fifth. We'll come back down. We'll adjust our feet now, especially if you're at a chair. If you step, all of a sudden you don't have a chair to hold on to. So just kind of adjust yourself by your chair. Demi. Now the heels don't have to come up in second position because your feet are wide enough. Demi, grand, demi. Straighten, demi, grand, demi, straighten. Plie, releve, four of those, and then four jumps. Plie, jump, saute is the name for the jump. Four of those, and then we'll take a balance, arms in second position. All right, there's different methods or styles of ballet. So if you see, if you go someplace and you take ballet, and they'll say, this is the French style, or this is the Italian style, or the Russian. It's all pretty much very, very, very similar. You'll just have some different names for some of the steps, but the majority of the things are the same. So don't worry that you're studying the wrong style, because once you get to be advanced, you can pick up anything. All right, guys, let's do it. Here we go, first position. Demi, grand, demi, straighten. Demi, heels naturally come up. Now push the heels down. And plie, releve. Plie, this is just the demi plie. The heels are down, push up. Heels down, releve. Now we do our jumps. Plie, saute. Plie, saute. You still have to do this correct timing to match the musical quality. Take your balance. I'm going to switch. Take your balance. Arms are low. Neutral spine. Come down. Second position. Demi, grand. Demi. So I go halfway. Halfway, full is straight line here. You don't have to go all the way there. Now, plie, releve. Notice I'm not going all the way into my wrong plie. I'm just doing a demi, releve. <coughs> now, saute, demi, saute. Demi, I'm pointing my toes to the ground. Plie, push. Plie, Push, take your balance, arms in second. Lift those elbows. Nice flat alignment in the front of the body. Necklace, chin, 
stay. Soft wrist elbows, lower. Tandu, close in first, finish. And again, you're engaging your core. All right, so when we say core, we're talking about this area right here. Now, when I engage my abdominals, we know where that's at. You don't really engage like your back muscles. I'm engaging my back muscles. You can engage your armpit muscles, all right, front and back here, your lats and your pecs, but at your butt muscles. So basically, you're engaging all those major muscles in your body. When you engage your butt muscles and your abdominals, it keeps your back in your proper alignment. All right, let's keep going. Tandu, tandu, tandu. Tandu and flex and point and close. Tandu fit, tandu fit. We're changing it up a little bit today, okay? Let's do one hand on the bar. So turn your bar sideways so that it's on the same side as me, then you won't get confused while you're doing this. If you do any other online classes, Definitely be on the same side as the teacher. It's easier to reverse things or, or follow along. All right, so we're going to start in first position. <coughs> we're going to tendu front. Tendu and flex. Tendu close first. Tendu close fifth. Tendu close fifth. Okay, so two tendus closing fifth. Then side and flex and side close first. Side close front fifth, side close back fifth. So when we go side, you've got a couple options. When you go front, you only can close in the front, okay? You can't sneak it to the back, it just looks messy. All right, so side is where your brain has to like click on and not fall asleep. All right, so the front, when you go side, you're gonna close where you've been. I've been to the front and I haven't been to the back, so you'll go to the back second. All right, so we are now, Let's see, we did tendu close front, tendu close back. Now your foot's back so you can tendu back. Tendu and flex and point close first, tendu close fifth, tendu close fifth, same thing side, tendu and flex and point close first, tendu close fifth back, tendu cl close fifth front, all right? It makes you think, I mean this is level one so you're like this seems easy enough. And we're going to do a tonglié, but it's not. You have to think. Don't fall asleep in level one. Tandu. Weight is on this foot. Plié. Now, weight is equally shared amongst both feet. Tandu. Close first. Tandu. Plié. Tandu. Close first. Repeat. Tandu. Plié. Tandu. Close fifth front. Tandu. Close fifth front. Tandu. Plié. Tonglié. Tandu, close fifth. Susu up nice and tight. Get the arms prepared. Heel front, toes back. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and then you balance. But you'll get your arms ready first. You'll be in susu, but your arm is there prepared. Nice, strong arm. Remember we talked about the armpit and the lats back here? So tight armpits, strong upper body. And then it looks like you're not like tightening everything up, but you're really kind of keeping that upper body strong and secure. Okay, starting first position, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Tandu front, here we go. Tandu and flex. Point, close. Tandu front and fifth, tandu front and fifth, side, side, flex, close first position, now close fifth front, fifth back, tandu, flex, point close first, tandu close fifth, tandu close fifth, side, flex, point close first, close back, now, tendu, plie, take your time, tendu, shift the weight onto that leg, first position, and tendu, plie, go for the legs have weight, tendu, all the weights on this leg, now, repeat, don't lean out with it, plie, this is wrong, get over there, fit, tendu, plie, Tandu, susu, take your balance, heel front, toes back. They're on relevant. 
a strong upper body. Now we finish up on Relevé and come down. All right. So what was I going to say? Oh, when you are doing your tong lie, the tondu and the plie, tondu, when we go away from the bar, let's do this. Kind of flex your foot before you close it in. We'll see how your balance is. If you have too much weight on that foot, you'll fall. You'll be like, oh, I keep falling. So you know you need to shift more onto that supporting leg. All right, let's switch sides with our bar. I need to name this bar. She's been through a lot with me. Emotional ups and downs. All right, first position. Arm is out, tandu front. Here we go from first. Tandu. Flex. Tandu close first. Tandu close front fifth. And fifth to the side. Tandu. Flex. Point close first. Tandu close fifth. Tandu close fifth to the back. Tandu. Flex. Point close first. Tandu close fifth. Time you close fifth side flex. Point close first. Time you close fifth. Time you close fifth. Tom Lee. Tom Lee. Tom Lee is tight. First, let's repeat into the bar. Tom Lee. Tom Lee. Again, my weight is on that leg. Tom Lee. Tandu, check your balance. Close it front and flip. Tandu, plie, tandu. Notice, I'm right there. Balance, susu arm, and then sort of put a heel front, toes back. And susu, finish. You know why I believe I have, um, it's hard for me to balance? Because I have so much range of motion in my feet. I mean, it makes sense. I can go really high on my toes, where a lot of people can only go maybe this high. You can't see because there's a shadow. Where I can go that high, and some people can only go that high. So when you're that, when you're lower to the ground, you've got more stability, more body parts of your foot are on the actual ground. And the higher you get, on that releve, the less bony surfaces you have to balance on. So that's my excuse. All right, but you know what, in point shoes, you know, you've got the stability of that flat box that you can balance on, so point shoes are nice because you get that, that stable surface. All right, let's do a degage, guys. We're gonna do eight and eight. Eight and eight and shan shan. Okay, this one, you know, I just spent all that time putting my bar there, I want it. I want you guys to face me, all right? So a degage is as high as a little mongoose, which is like a squirrel or a ferret. So you're gonna take the right leg from first position. Now, just a reminder, follow your toes out. Some people have naturally beautiful first position where their toes are straight to the side, okay? The rest of us are in a little bit. You don't wanna turn your feet out beyond what feels like you can control it because that's just bad for your knees and your actual alignment will probably be like this. You'll probably turn your feet out too much and then you're leaning forward on the arches. You want your baby toe. You want the whole baby toe side of the foot, see the dirty part, on the floor. You don't want this part to be on the floor. You're going to lift the arch up. So what you do, if you're standing in parallel, everybody, try it with me. Instead of being rolling in, you're going to Lift the arches off. So when you're in first position, you lift the arches. You can see my feet. I'm lifting the arches. So you want to do that, but you don't want to grip the floor with your toes either. So wiggle your toes around. So it's finding the proper ankle alignment. So you can hopefully take that into your daily life and you're not walking like this. Okay? So degage first and degage first. We have eight of these seven and eight, pretend we did eight. Then, degage close front, degage close back, degage close front, seven, pretend we did eight. Now we're ready for the other side. Eight into first, eight fifth. Now you'll end here after your eight, we're doing eight changement. Changement is changing your feet 
when you jump. You're gonna jump and change your feet, okay? So you're here, you're gonna jump, change feet, jump, change feet. We've already practiced our jumps earlier. So point your toes and land with a plie and keep that spine. That's the hard part, you're jumping, your, your body's gonna probably do this and that and the other, but really try to keep it straight up and down. All right, let's try it guys, follow me. First position. And out, 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 in, five, six, seven, eight. Out, close front, out, close back, out, close front, out, close back. It's fast. And out, out. Were you counting? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, close front. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Finish. Whew. Yeah, beginning ballet is no joke, I'm telling you. All right, so that was quick. If you're not able to do that that fast, you can always practice at a slower tempo without music or be a little bit behind us. That's fine too. Let's go on to our Ronde de Jean. Ronde de Jean. Seems like, oh, we did, I know we did this one before. One, two, three, four, elevé. One, two, three, four, elevé. Grand Ronde de Jean, front side, port de bras. Okay. We're doing half of a Grand Ronde de Jean. So half of a grand rond de jambe. Let me show, let me just review rond de jambe. So you're in your first position. Doesn't matter how um, advanced you are, you will usually be in first position for rond de jambe. You're always going through a first when your foot rond de jambes around. I tell the little kids, pretend they're painting a rainbow. Rond de jambe, the rainbow. All right, and then you'll close it into first. We have front, side, back, first. Elevé, elevé. Reverse, back, side, front, first, two elevés. Now, elevé and relevé, almost the same word. You just add the R to the front of elevé. Relevé adds the plié into it. Remember, plié up, but elevé keeps the knees nice and straight. And it takes more control to come down, so control it. It's just like when you're doing weights, right? And you just want to let the... Weights fall, but you really resist it. And you are the weight. Your body is the weight. All right, then we'll repeat it one more time. Front, side, back, close, elevate. Use all your core muscles. Back, side, front, close, elevate, elevate. Okay, then grand rond de jambe. We're not going to take the leg all the way to the back. We're doing half of a grand rond de jambe. Do you remember what half is in French? Demi. So here's demi plie, half plie, grand plie, big plie. All right, so you're gonna take front baby toe to the ground, corner, close it, pour de bras with a side bend. All right, so you'll take, it's gonna be kind of quick. And up, so you can take that full side bend, feel a little stretch, reverse, back, hold, corner, straighten the body out. As the leg comes around, you're gonna have to rotate it. We can do it with our arms easily. Rotate it and bring it a little bit in front of you. Okay, so the leg's here. Rotate it. Now it's slightly in front of you. Close it and side port de bras and come up. We'll finish. There's no balance on this. All right, let's do it, guys. Follow me. Follow the other brick rib. Front, side, back, first our elevates, straight knees, again, stomach and glutes, nice and strong, reverse, back, you're painting the rainbow this way now, first, elevate, we'll repeat, front, going front, front, this is away from the belly button, away from the belly button, and elevate, now you're going to go towards the belly button. So you go back, here it comes, in towards the belly button. Keep it straight. Your knees have not bent yet. They've stayed straight this whole time. Ready to the front. 
baby toe to the floor, corner, close, side stretch, come up to the back, back, body pulls back in, nice and erect, and five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if you've played musical instruments, you know the word retardando. Retardando is what the music did. It slowed down at the end to make a like, dramatic ending to the song. So that means you have a little more time to come up from that stretch. Okay? You have to know your music. I know this music. I know it like the back of my hand, the back of my point shoe. Okay, here we go. First position. Prepare. Front. Front, away from your belly button. You're painting that rainbow with your foot. Do my knees bend? The answer is no. Do your knees bend? They better not. Reverse, straight knees. And close. Elevate. Let's repeat it again. And front, corner, back, close. Elevate. Elevate. One more time, reversing it inward. It's coming in towards your belly button. And elevate. Now we're going to do the grand grand jambe. Front, baby toe down to the floor. Corner. And pour the bra with a side bend. Ah, yes. Grand grand jambe back. Notice it's right behind me. And then I have to pull my rib cage back up. And a port of And up. And finish. So you have extra music there because of the retardando. Now, um, on that port of everyone, just add some style. If you, okay, so watch. This is number one. Watch this. Tell me if you like number one or number two better. That's number one. Okay, here's number two. You notice what I'm doing differently is I'm adding my head. So as you go up, you can look out. Now, you don't stare ever stare right at your hand because then that cuts your vision off to the audience. So you're looking beyond the hand, beyond. And then, of course, you can look at the ground here. I mean, that's where your head's pointing. And then look beyond the hand. All right, that gives you the whole audience i'm i'm really paying attention to you i'm not just looking at my hand all right let's flip it over guys flip it over what are we doing i remember this is level two so i'm talking i mean level one so i'm talking a lot because you have to learn by seeing doing and listening so you have to use as many senses as possible all right we're not tasting anything unless it's the sweat dripping down into your mouth <laughs> Passe, devil up, pay, float it down, straddle, stretch you to the ground. I tend to sing, I notice I tend to sing a lot. It's because I can't. All right, let's do first position to start. You're going to take the foot as soon as the foot goes off the ground. I have this weird shadow and I really like to not have it on my feet. So let's see. Does that help? I don't know. I still have it. So your arm is going to be in second. You've got one. Drag it up the front of the shin, the front. So when the leg is turned out, one second. All right, so when the leg is turned out, this is the front, the top, and this is the bottom. But the top is really the side of the leg. But you've turned it, right? If my toes were up and I turn it, now this is the top or the front of my arm, when in reality it's the side. Okay. Too much talking. So you're basically dragging it up the front of the leg. Front of the leg, hold for four. Take it to attitude, hold for four counts. Extend it for four, tendu, don't close. Slide down. Now what you're gonna do, if you're not very flexible, you're still gonna stay, let's say this is your flexibility, you're gonna stay here. Now, to get out of it, maybe take your hands and twist and gently come down to your knee, okay? It depends on your flexibility. If you're more flexible, come on down. And I can easily sit, and that's your goal. 
But if you cannot do that, then you're going to maneuver yourself into it and a way of getting down without hurting yourself, okay? Then to get up, we're gonna use the leg away from the bar, and we're gonna stand up. Now I've had, I have knee issues with this knee, so what I'd like to see is a smooth transition to the knee and the foot. So you're here, and then standing. See, my knee was wobbling, so I really wanna keep that stationary knee over my toe when I come up, so I'm not like all over the place and then closing first to finish. All right, follow me. It's slow enough that if you didn't, if you don't know what you're doing, you can follow the teacher. All right, take a nice breathing arm and take your toe, drag it up. And attitude. Take your leg out. Float it down, and here's our straddle stretch. Stay up. Stay up a little longer if you can. If you need to come out of it, go for it. And come out of it now. However, you can adjust yourself. Stretch forward for a second. Your feet do not need to point, they can relax. That will help you gain some flexibility if you're more in a relaxed state when you're stretching. Come on up. The outside leg is in front. Take your body weight forward. Watch this knee over toe. I saw it wobble on me. Finish. All right, let's switch to the other side. Whew. So if you notice, you know, you've got to see yourself in the mirror. You've got to kind of pay attention. To what you're doing that's why a studio setting is so much better than a home setting if you can't see yourself and the teacher can't see you because guess what a lot of things that are going on you don't know you're even doing wrong or else you wouldn't do it if you knew you were doing it wrong you'd be fixing it you'd be like oh so habits take I don't know 10,000 times to break so every time my knee wobbles I'm gonna have to tell myself that 999,000 more times all right so let's try it. other side Breathing that arm. Take it up the front of the leg. Passe. Hold it there. Now we're going to take an attitude. Think of your knee and armpit coming together and then lift this foot a little bit like someone's polishing your toenails. Now you're going to take it out. Notice I try to keep my body straight. I'm pointing my toe. I'm rotating. And tendu. And going down for our straddle stretch again. Stay there. And gently come on down. Relax your feet. All right, you're gonna come on up. Take this leg in front. And remember, you've gotta shift your body weight. You can rock it to get to your knee. I'm gonna have to cheat on this one. And watch that knee as you come up. And finish in first. I had a knee injury on this leg last year and now this one's bothering me. It's they're taking turns. They're like this one now, okay. All right, let's move our bars, grab a drink as well, and then we'll come out. We'll be in the center of the space. <clears throat> All right. Let's do a little bit around the room. Uh, I don't care what direction you go, clockwise, counterclockwise. I was watching an old video of me teaching and I used to go counterclockwise. Yep, now we go clockwise. <laughs> I think too many times. It depends on the studio I was in. Sometimes kids would hit their heads on the ballet bar in certain directions, so we sw swapped it. So, yep, so clockwise tended to be the best way so kids weren't bashing their heads into the bar. <laughs> 
Oh, yes. All right, guys. Here we go. Start with the ballet walk. And no bashing your head into stuff, okay? <laughs> Pick up the pace a little, but keep your toes pointing. Remember the ballet walk is toe, ball, heel. Take your arms high. Take your arms middle. Middle is not flat, middle is sloping. See, sloping. And take it, same arm as leg. This is that position we just practiced called passe. This is passe because it passes through. It's going from the back and landing in the front. Oh, I'm going fast. All right, take your arms middle and belly skips. This is our ballet aerobics. I should, I should brand it. Copyright it. Oh, trademark. Yeah, that's the word. Trademark this. Ballet aerobics. Arms high. Keep going. And ballet tiptoes. Walk on your tiptoes, arms low. All right, come to the middle. First position. Ooh, you'll feel it. You'll feel your heart rate up there. Let's do a tom, a grumbat mom with some tondus. En quoi tolier? En quoi tolier? Circle. Oh, that's right. Remember I used, I believe last class, last week, I used like two pillows here or something, and I, I walked around them. So let me demonstrate with that again. So on the ending of this combination, you have to pretend you are by two people. These are my people. So if someone was as tall as me on both sides, I wouldn't have my arms out here. I'd hit them. Um, but what you're going to do is round the arm of the person you're going to be walking around. So I walk in front. And then I switch arms and I walk in front of this person. All right, you typically, it depends on what the choreography is, but it makes more sense to walk in front and circle around when you're going around people, just because the audience, you're always focused on what, you know, the audience seeing you or getting a good vision of what your story or your movement is, okay? So start in first position. We have Grand Batma en Croix. So grand batma is the kick. You're going to close it in first. Batma side. It's really grand batma, but we just shortcut it to batma. Okay? Grand batma back and grand batma side. Then what you have is, not the itch. That is not included in the choreography. I forgot. Oh, the tombier. <laughs> so simple. Level one. I can't remember any of the choreography. Tandu. Remember, keep the weight on this side of the body. Plie, bring the arms in, tendu, and close. Same thing on the other side, batma, batma, grand batma, grand batma, grand batma, tendu, plie. And again, I, you know you're going this way, so don't anticipate it by taking your body weight there too quickly. Tendu, arms here, plie, tendu, and close. Then you're gonna, gosh, I got must be mosquito bite. Then you're gonna walk around your invisible person and then around the other invisible person. All right, let's try it. We did this one last week, so you might remember it. Oh goodness, it's right there. Let me turn that up a little. Okay, let's start that over. Let me check my elbow. Ramba ma, here we go front, front, side, back, side, tandu, weight is here, plie, weight is on both feet, weight is all the way over here, Ramba ma, front, 
side, back, side, tendu, plie, tendu. Let's repeat the grand batman one more time because that helps with our stability. Side, back, side, tendu, plie, tendu. Other side, grand batman, front, side, back, side, tendu, plie, tendu, invisible person. Around the other invisible person. Stop. Let's go around this person first. Ready? And around the other one. Back to your spot in the middle. Finish. Yes! The music worked really well because the part where we're walking around our invisible person was like, da -da 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 -da. the music was like appropriate for it. It felt, it felt right. All right. Now, we can't do this one necessarily because it's supposed to be done in canon and it works well when you're in a classroom setting and you've got multiple people. You um, can't use pillows for this one, people. It doesn't work. So this was a canon, and a canon is a ripple or a wave, okay? It's like row, row, row your boat, then the next person starts, then the next person starts. Canons can be anywhere from two counts apart, four counts, eight counts. This was going to be a four-count canon, but we'll just do the combination. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Tondu, arabesque, close. Oh, oh, the cannons, uh, the cannons on the end. So I think we can do it. I'll go on one, two. The next person will do the next one, two. So you guys will do the second. I'll go one, two, and then you'll go three, four. That's what we'll do. All right, so we're here. We've got first position, drag it up. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm falling already. <laughs> Um, okay, one, two, three, four. Arms can open. One, two, three, four. Repeat. One, two, three. Hold four. Hold five, six, seven, eight. Tandu, you're going to turn L shaped arms. So one arm is in front, one arm is to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to go on one, two. All right, I'm going to tandu, swoosh. Turn, then you're gonna tandu, swoosh, turn. The swoosh is the rond de jam, all right? It's coming in towards your belly button, but you're circling the rainbow out. So paint that rainbow, turn. That's in our dance, kind of funny. And we come down in first position. Then we do the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat, one, two, Three, hold four, hold five, six, seven, eight. One L shaped arms, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going first. One, two, then you guys go three, four. I'll wait for you. And if someone else was there, they could go five, six, and we'd all close first position. I'm just stepping my front foot out to go into first position. Let's try it, everybody. That's right, we have our dance we've been working on, so we'll learn that too. All right, here we go. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. One, two, three, hold four, hold five, six, seven, eight. One, L shaped arms. I go first. Down, turn. Now you guys go down, turn, down, turn. First position. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. One, two. First arabesque, L shaped arms. Now I'm going first. 
Tandu Randishan turn. You guys, Tandu Randishan turn. First position. Now, on that Randishan turn, it's called Sutanu, um, but when you Randishan it, your foot comes to the front, then your feet switch. Now I have the other foot front. You can only go about halfway, okay, before your feet start to get entangled, but you can cheat the rest of the way, all right? You just have a quarter turn to cheat. So on this side, kind of walk it through with me. This foot's in front. Now this foot's gonna, the back foot's gonna end in front. So if you did it correctly, now you got that foot. Let's try this one. So you're here, all right, so Tandu, you should take it front, go up on it, unwind, you got the other foot front. You have to cheat a little bit, remember? Let's try it again. Tandu, round de front, turn. Now, one of the problem things that people do, I'll face you. So this is how it should look. Your foot comes in and then you turn, okay? This is what a lot of people do. They round de this and then they don't stop round de I mean, they keep round de jambing, and then all of a sudden they got the wrong foot front, okay? So it's just a wrong jump half, you know, whoop to the front, up, then turn. All right, let's keep going. <sighs> let's do our jumps. Eight jumps in first, eight jumps in second, waltzing around the room, okay? Let's do this. We'll do, we'll do eight jumps in first, eight jumps in second, Eight jumps in first again, eight jumps in second, okay? So two sets of those. The transitions are what usually throw dancers off, so don't be surprised if on count one, you're jumping in the wrong direction, all right? Then you'll go down, up, up, around the room because we really don't have space, so you just go in a little circle, okay? Here we go, 999 jumps. No quitting, no sitting down, and have a smile on your face. Ready? One, two, and did I mention it's an excruciatingly slow tempo? One, two, did you forget to count? Because I was talking. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. Whatever foot you're on, I don't care. I start with my right, which might look like it's left to you. Keep going. Go the other direction. And finish. All right, a good stretch after you're done jumping would be a calf stretch, or I mean a quadricep stretch. So pull that in, squeeze your butt muscles. Now, if you're not able, I don't know if you're not able to pull it all the way up, you can do it grandma style, put it on the the sofa, <laughs> squeeze your butt muscles in, push the pelvis flat. Move this foot around a little bit to get some different areas of the quadricep. All right, switch sides. It's, it gets dark here at seven o'clock, Carmen. Yeah, seven o'clock is probably the latest that it, stays light outside. So we're getting to be the summer solstice soon. Is it some, did we miss summer? I mean, I feel like I've been in quarantine for 900 months. What year is this? 2025? Ah. There's been pandemics in the past and people got over them then, so we're gonna, we'll be fine. All right, let's go. Shenane across this floor. Let's shenane. Oh, this is good. I like that. Okay. So we'll shenane. Let's face. Face this way. All right, guys. Tanya front. Arms are middle. Remember, arms are sloping. The shenane turn, if you have been taking ballet, this is a turn that we do. 
We're doing a little bit more advanced. I know this is level one, but at this point, you should already know how to do this. Side steps towards the screen. Use your head. Spot. All right, let's try it with some music. All right. You're on releve or eleve because your knees aren't bent. Ready, go. All right, go back down. Ready, go. I'm going to write a story called The Ballerina Trapped in the Bubble. The Ballerina in the Bubble. She just danced in her bubble. Let's face the other way, guys. We're going to go. Here we go. Other foot. And Shanae. Dancing girl in the bubble. Six, seven, here we go. Shanae. Keep the arms closed. Even if your other teacher taught you to open them, keep them closed. So, we keep them closed because when you're advanced, we don't open and close them. We keep them closed. So why would we learn open and close when we don't really do it in ballet? We do it in other styles, tap, jazz, hip hop, modern dance, but in ballet, no, keep them closed. All right, last time. Last time, everybody. Ready, go, Shanae, turn meets chain. I swear I felt my head, it must have been my imagination. I thought my head hit the ceiling band string. I was like, I feel something, unless there's a bug on me. One time I was at this studio in Indiana that I taught at, and I was in the kitchen area, and I felt plop, and I was like, ah, and it was a spider, and the girls always told me there's lots of spiders because it was in the middle of a cornfield. All right, let's work on, uh, let's work on our dance. Okay, so where we left off, let's take the new part and then I'll show you the beginning part if you were not with us before. So the new part, we ended, didn't we end on the floor? Yes. I'm like, what did we do? So we were here, we just touched our hearts. All right, and you may have learned the ocean wave part, so you're gonna be like ocean. You can, I start like this. You can start however you want because it's improvisation. So ocean waves, and then you're, you only have eight counts for ocean wave improv, and you have to end standing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you wanna be over here. Then you're gonna kick up detire. You're gonna try to grab the foot, okay? So you batma and hold, two, three, four, did you see I wasn't pointing my toe and then I pointed it? Then you're gonna bounce, bounce. We're gonna pirouette and go down to our knee gently. Sway in the wind, seven and eight. New part, second section of the new part. You're gonna stand up. You're gonna do a Shanae turn like we just did. You're stepping side though. You don't have to take the foot front. Just go one, two, Arabesque. So you have one, two, step into air, first arabesque. L shaped arms. And this arabesque, we don't hold a long time. We go here, step through, scissor, scissor. So your scissor leg starts on this, it goes right, left, right, left. Okay, two little scissor jumps. Right, left, right, left. And you step out of it. All right, so. You're down on the knee, pretend I'm on my knee. We get up, one, two, arabesque, step forward, scissor, scissor, and then from here. I'm gonna try not to travel too much. I'll just do my scissors in place. Then you're gonna step up into second, arms are high, and you plie and look up, like the snow is coming down. Twist, let's wrap our arms. I decided I'd like wrapped arms for this, Twist two of those. Now I'm facing this way. Notice this foot that's in back. It's going to kick forward. Okay? Kick, step, kick, step, rond de jambe. So 